This video will demonstrate the power, functionality, and ease of use of the Atsys Controls FPGA Image Processing Toolkit, or FIPT. This demo will walk you through the steps required to create an example FPGA image processing application, as well as demonstrate the modularity of the FIPT suite by illustrating the ease of modifying the example project for different FIPT blocks. The blocks will be developed using LabVIEW and LabVIEW FPGA version 2010. We begin with a pre-configured VI named FIPT FPGA Example that's been pre-populated with just a few of the blocks available in the full FIPT suite. The FIPT blocks to be used, colored blue and white, consist of FPGA Init, Front Panel Read Write, Image Upload, Send Raw Image to DMA, Noise Generator, Rank Order Filter, and Send Process Image to DMA. All of these blocks come standard with the FIPT license. We also have a FIFO read block named FIPT Write Image Upload. We start by setting up the FIPT software configuration using the FPGA init VI in conjunction with the shown global variable within the while loop. We then set up the front panel communication between the host and target by placing the front panel read write VI in the case structure within the while loop and then wiring the controls as shown. Next, we set up the image upload VI by wiring in an FPGA clock speed, selecting 80 MHz. For this example, we are using 80 MHz, but other clock speeds can be used as well, depending on your specific application. The same FPGA clock speed will also be used by the single cycle time loop. The image upload VI is a capability that is used in place of a live video feed from a camera, allowing a user to upload specific images to the FPGA. Now, we place the remaining four VIs, the Send Raw Image to DMA, Noise Generator, Rank Order Filter, and Send Process Image to DMA within the single cycle loop. We will also take the opportunity to create a case structure within the single cycle time loop that will be used a little bit further into the demo. Next, we set up the pixel bus by connecting the outputs of the FIPT Write Image Upload FIFO to the Send Raw Image to DMA VI. Then we connect the image processing VIs, the noise generator, and the rank order filter to the pixel bus. Note the use of feedback nodes between VIs. Next, we wire front panel controls to the noise generator and rank order filter VIs. Then, we connect the image output cluster of the Senra image to DMA to the rank order filter, and then unbundle the three signals and wire them to the indicators as shown. These indicators are used by VIs in this particular example host VI to display image size information and manage the reading of DMA FIFOs. Next, we wire the pixel bus to the send process image to DMA VI to send the pixel bus to the host. The pixel bus must be unbundled in order to connect the individual components to the send process image to DMA VI. Then we finalize front panel communications by wiring the processed host image request indicator to the send process image to DMA VI. Once the reset signal from the send process image to DMA VI has been wired to the case structure, the local variable for the process host image request should be wired as shown. The example VI is now ready to be compiled. The next segment illustrates how to create a host site example VI that interfaces with the compiled FIPT FPGA example VI. This portion of the demo will walk you through the steps required to create this particular host site example VI and how to use the FIPT image upload capability to upload and process an image on the FPGA. We begin with the pre-configured VI FIPT host example, 
that's been pre-populated with a time loop and the following components and BIs. An open FPGA VI reference, host init, host target interface, image upload, process image request, and process image received. We start by configuring the open FPGA VI reference, selecting the FIPT FPGA example VI previously generated and compiled. Be sure to uncheck dynamic mode prior to proceeding. Next, we configure the open FPGA VI reference within the FIPT FPGA reference control and select the VI FIPT FPGA example that was previously generated and compiled. Now we wire the FPGA VI reference and error cluster through the host init and host target interface VIs and then to the flat sequence structure. Next, we place the processed image request and the processed image received VIs within the timed loop and connect the outputs of the processed image request VI to the inputs of the processed image received VI. Then, we connect the FPGA VI reference and error cluster to the processed image request VI. Then connect its output error cluster to the indicator as shown. Next, open the FIPT Image Upload Controls VI and copy and paste everything in the block diagram into the flat sequence structure in our example VI. Now, connect the image FIFO depth local variable to the host init output labeled image FIFO depth used. Next, place the image upload VI into the flat sequence structure and wire the variable references cluster as well as the open FPGA VI reference to the inputs. From the Project Explorer, open the previously compiled FIPT FPGA example VI and click on the white arrow to run the VI. Once the FPGA VI is running, switch to the front panel of our host VI example and enter the path to the image you wish to upload to the FPGA. If the image to be uploaded is color, uncheck the Bayer or Gray option. This option is used by the feature within the image upload block that internally converts color images to grayscale. This option should be selected only if the image to be uploaded is a Bayer encoded image or is grayscale. Leave this unchecked if the image is an RGB formatted color image. Run the host VI, set the image, and then select to upload it continuously to the FPGA. Enable the noise generator using the FPGA example front panel and observe the noise in the image. The noise generator block is a diagnostic tool for robustness testing and, in this example, is used to test the functionality of the rank order filter. Now, enable the rank order filter with a default rank value of 4 and observe the reduction of noise in the image. The rank order filter with a setting of 4 results in a median filter which can be used to reduce salt and pepper noise in an image, like in this example. The next segment illustrates the modularity and interchangeability of the FIPT block set by modifying the previously created FIPT FPGA example VI for the use of FIPT's Sobel Edge filter. We begin with the previously compiled FIPT FPGA example VI to which we've added the Sobel Edge Filter VI. Remove the Noise Generator and Rank Order VIs and associated front panel controls. Now, place the Sobel Edge Filter VI in the single cycle time loop and wire in the pixel bus and front panel controls. After only a few quick minor changes, the noise generator and rank order filter VIs will replace with the Sobel Edge filter and the example VI is ready for compilation. 
illustrating the modularity and interchangeability of the FIPT block set. The next segment illustrates the use of the Sobel Edge filter. Begin by displaying the front panel of the FIPT host example VI. From the Project Explorer, open the previously compiled FIPT FPGA example VI and click on the white arrow to run the VI. We will continue with the previously used image. Run the host VI, set the image, and then select to upload it continuously to the FPGA. Enable the Sobel Edge filter using the FPGA example front panel. An input value of 0 produces both vertical and horizontal edges. Setting the filter value to 1 produces horizontal edges, while setting the filter value to 2 produces vertical edges. The example VIs can be similarly modified for the use of additional FIPT image processing VIs. We hope that this example application demonstrates the power and utility of the FPGA Image Processing Toolkit. Please visit our website at www.adsyscontrols.com for more information and pricing.